what a big leap. 2025 is set to be the year when Russia achieves a major breakthrough in military production, not only in terms of tanks and missiles, but also drones. How much will these new Russian weapons truly be able to provide an advantage? On April 26th, Russian state news agency TASS reported an important development in Russia's defense industry. Amid rising global tensions, the production of the FPV Knyaz Vandal Novgorodsky drone officially began in three key regions of Russia. In an exclusive interview with TASS, the CEO of the Ushkuinik Research and Production Center, Alexei Chadayev, revealed the news confidently. According to Chadayev, the drone assembly facilities have been designed to produce up to 1,000 Nyaz Vandal Novgorodsky unmanned aerial vehicles per shift. If operating two shifts, that number could rise to 2,000 drones. This significant production figure is not just a number, it reflects Russia's immense confidence and reliance on the drone's capabilities to support various military operations. Let's dive deeper. The role of drones in modern combat, particularly in the Ukrainian battlefield, has become an undeniable phenomenon. With each step, drones are not only combat tools, but also symbols of the ever-growing technological power dominating warfare. One type of drone that has captured attention is the cable-based FPV drone, which is not only effective, but is also changing the way we perceive warfare. Their presence is especially felt in critical areas, such as Kursk, where intense military operations are taking place. In Kursk, for instance, a Ukrainian radio electronic warfare station became one of the targets successfully destroyed by this KVN drone. This success was not merely about advanced technology, but also about accuracy and precision in carrying out a high-risk mission. TASS, one of the leading news agencies, reported that this cable-based FPV drone had achieved a significant and impressive milestone. In the same region, Kinyaz Vandal, a drone from Novgorod operated by a crew from the 83rd Separate Air Assault Brigade of the Russian Northern Combat Group, managed to destroy a Ukrainian armored vehicle near the Kursk border. In the obtained footage, the FPV drone is seen carefully approaching its target, a Ukrainian military vehicle trapped among dense forest belts. Without mercy, the drone destroyed the vehicle. In this case, even military equipment developed by NATO, valued at over $300 million, appeared helpless against the sophisticated Russian technological expertise. However, this is only a small part of the many roles drones have played in crippling NATO's military equipment. Compartments of armored personnel carriers like the Stryker, APC M113 and Humvee have become inevitable targets. There are also dramatic recordings showing how the power of FPV drones targets and destroys military equipment with impressive precision. Despite facing strong enemy interference, these drones are able to maintain their accuracy. Their special feature lies in their ability to always find clever solutions when dealing with such disruptions. Stories like this are not just happening in Kursk, but across various regions in Ukraine. Russian drones, with their remarkable ability to carry out missions, continue to hit their targets with precision. Every movement and decision in the mission is based on thorough calculations, making these drones not just tools of war, but central actors in the modern warfare narrative, full of high-tech advancements and sophisticated strategies. In addition to being equipped with thin cables that make the Nyaz Vandal immune to signal interference and ensure smooth communication without worrying about radio disruptions, the Nyaz Vandal Novgorodsky has other equally impressive advantages. One of these is its precision strike capability and reconnaissance abilities that far exceed expectations. Its technical specifications are kept tightly secret, but its innovative design speaks volumes. This is a quadcopter powered by electric motors with a size and weight not much different from the modern FPV drones we often see. However, there is one important point to note. 
The Niaz Vandal Novgorodsky had to sacrifice some aspects to achieve these advantages. One of the biggest compromises is the use of optical fiber cables coiled around the drone's body. While these cables limit its range, they offer a significant advantage in terms of precision. The Kinyas Vandal can transmit data with extremely high accuracy, ensuring that every command and feedback is perfectly received. Interestingly, rumors circulating on the internet suggest that this unmanned aerial vehicle is capable of carrying a cable up to 20 kilometers long, providing great operational flexibility. In the future, subsequent versions will be equipped with thermal imaging systems, allowing the drone to operate effectively in the dark, expanding its use for both night operations and further reconnaissance. The Kinyas Vandal's low-flight capability, combined with its ability to operate with minimal radio emissions, makes it difficult to detect. This advantage makes the drone nearly invisible to enemy defense systems, providing a significant strategic edge on the battlefield. In the ongoing conflict, Ukraine is increasingly pressured by the presence of Western tanks, which have become easy targets for precision strikes, such as the German-made Leopard 2A6, which now appears more vulnerable. So, how is Ukraine dealing with the growing frustration? The year 2024 marked a crucial point in the development of drone technology in Ukraine, when information obtained from Bulgarian military revealed that Ukrainian engineers had successfully created the latest optical fiber drone, named Banderik Strichka. This drone was tested in March 2024, showing great potential in strengthening Ukraine's combat capabilities. However, despite the attention this technological development attracted, Ukraine felt frustrated. They were disappointed that the government did not prioritize mass production immediately. Meanwhile, Russia, which is also intensively developing similar technology, has managed to get ahead in terms of production. The situation became even more grim for Ukraine when it became clear that their drone production line was still far behind Russia's well-established Niaz Vandal assembly line. While Russia was making rapid progress, Ukraine seemed hampered by an unprepared industry and a lack of resource allocation, making it quite difficult to catch up. How far will the KVN drones change the battlefield in the future? Leave your thoughts and thanks for watching.